Hi guys, I'm Teacher Maria and for today's video, we are going to talk about how to do common monomial factoring. Okay, for number 1, we have 8b squared minus 4b. Our first step is to get the greatest common factor of our numerical coefficients. Ha? Kukunin natin yung pinakamataas na factor na common doon sa mga numerical coefficients. Ano ba yung mga numerical coefficients natin dito? 8 and 4. Okay, think of a number or think of the number that is considered the greatest or the highest common factor of 8 and 4. And that will be very good. That's a 4. Ito na yung pinakamataas na factor na common kay 8 at 4. Okay, after that, let's go to its literal coefficient. To get the common monomial factor, when it comes to our literal coefficients, you are going to look at the variable with the lowest exponent. Ibig sabihin, ang kukunin natin, yung variable na may pinakamababang exponent. So, let's compare. We have both here, or we have... B for both terms, B and then B. But the first term is B squared or has an exponent of 2 while the other term has an exponent of 1. Diba? We have an invisible 1 here. So, anong pipiliin natin? B squared of B. Dahil ang kailangan daw natin ay yung mas mababa ang exponent, then we choose B. Okay, and then we are going to get the other factor by dividing these two terms with our greatest common monomial factor. Ang tawag na natin dito ay GCMF, which stands for greatest common monomial factor. Okay? Oh, let's try. So, we will have here now 8b squared. I divide natin ha to get the other factor. So, 8b squared over 4b minus 4b divided by 4b. Oh, let's start with this. 8 divided by 4. We have there 2. Very good. And then, b squared divided by b. Remember the rule, yung quotient rule natin, di ba? When we are dividing, we are subtracting the exponents. So, we have here, b squared over b, it is just simply b, two, uh, b raised to 2 minus 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, you will have only here b. Kasi pag 1, hindi na natin siya sinusulat, invisible 1 na siya. So, you will have here 2b. And then, our operation here, minus. Now, 4 divided by 4, that is 1. And then, b over b, so 1 minus 1. You will have here b raised to 1 minus 1. And that is b raised to 0. And alam naman natin na any expression, sorry, any expression raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, 1 lang din siya. Kasi yung 4 divided by 4 na 1 times yung b raised to 0 na 1 will be become 1. So, this one is our answer for number 1. O, di ba? Ang dali lang. You just have to get the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients and then get the lowest, uh, get the variable with the lowest exponents. Okay? Or with the lowest exponent. Uh, now, let's have this one, number 2. 15x squared y, z raised to 3 minus 20x raised to 3, y raised to 2. Okay, so first, let's look at the numerical coefficients. So, we have 15 and then 20. O, ano kaya yung pinakamataas na factor na common kay 15 and 20? O, ang dali lang nyan, ha? We have, very good, that's 5, di ba? Okay, 5, 10, 15, and then 5, 10, 15, 20. So, the highest uh, common factor or the greatest common factor of 15 and 20 is 5. Now, let's look at the variables. Diba, sabi ko kanina, the variables, uh, 
you will choose the variable with the lowest exponent. Okay, let's try x muna tayo ha. x squared sa una and then x cubed sa pangalawa. So, which will you choose? We will go to x squared, correct? Kasi mas mababa yung 2 kesa kay 3. Now, let's go to y. This one is y only and this one is y squared. So, we will choose Y. Very good. Now, we have a problem here. Ito ay Z raised to 3. But we cannot find any Z here dun sa second term. Are we going to write Z? No, because a Z is not common to both terms. Hindi mo siya isusulat. So, ito lang yung GCMF nitong number 2 natin. And then, we are going to find out now the other factor by dividing these terms with our GCMF. So, we have 15x squared y z raised to 3 divided by 5x squared y minus 20x raised to 3 y squared divided by 5 x squared y. Okay. Uh, let's start with this. 15 divided by 5 that is 3, correct? x squared divided by x squared. So, 2 minus 2, that is a 0. So, wala na siya. Cancelled na. Kasi 1 lang naman yung value niya. And then, y divided by y, 0 din siya, ba? So, 1 lang din. You don't need to write. And then, may matitira tayo dito ang z raised to 3. Kasi wala naman tayong denominator na z. So, you just have to copy it. z raised to 3. Okay, minus... 20 divided by 5, that is correct, 4. And then, x raised to 3 divided by x raised to 2. So, you will have x raised to 3 minus 2. So, you will have your x raised to 1. Oh, no need to write 1, ha? X na lang. Invisible na yung 1 natin. Okay, then, y raised to 2 divided by y. So, y raised to 2 minus 1. Ha? So, you will have y raised to 1 then, but you don't need to write yung 1 ha, kaya y na lang dito. So, the final answer will be 5x squared y uh, times 3, z raised to 3 minus 4xy. Now, for number 3, oh, let's have this one. 7, 14, 49. Oh, what is the greatest common factor for this? O, kitang-kita naman, ba? 7, 14, and 49 are multiples of 7. So, the greatest common factor for this one is, o, dito ka ilagay, ha? 7. Okay, now look at the, sorry, look at the variables or the literal coefficients. Okay, x squared. Let's compare, ha? This one, x squared siya dito. Dito, x. Dito, x squared. Uh, sino yung may pinakamaliit na exponent or lowest exponent? We have x kasi 1 lang, ba? 1. So, siya dyan. And then, for y, let's compare y, y squared, y squared. So, ang pinakamababa natin din ay si y. And then, that's it. We can find the other factor. So, you will have here, divide ha, 7x squared y divided by 7xy minus 14xy squared over 7xy. Okay, plus 49x squared y squared over 7xy. Uh, 7 divided by 7, that's 1. Okay, and then, uh, don't, Write it yet, ha? O, divide siya, cancel lang natin sila. X squared divided by X. So, 2 minus 1 is X. So, you will have X here. You don't need to write 1 kapag may variable ka na, ha? Invisible 1 siya. And then, Y divided by Y. 0 din siya. So, 1 lang din naman siya since you have X na. You don't need to write, ha? Hindi tama na yung sinusulat nyo na 1, X, 1. It means 1 times X is x times 1 is x. That's why you have only x here. Ha? 1 times x times 1 is simply x. That's why ang susulat lang ay x. Dapat naiintindihan yun mga anak ha? Okay, now, minus 14 divided by 7, you will have there 2. And then, x divided by x, cancel nyo na lang siya kasi 1 minus 1 is 0. And then, y squared over y... 
So, y siya. 2 minus 1 is 1. Pero, don't, you don't need to write 1. Y na lang siya. Okay? And then, for the third term, you have 49 divided by 7. So, plus siya ha. Plus. So, you will have there 7. And then, x squared divided by x is simply x. And then, y squared divided by y is simply y. So, this is now our answer. Now, for number 4, we have 3a multiplied by, or, uh, yeah, 3a times the quantity of x plus y minus 4b times the quantity of x plus y. If we are going to look at this one, ang common term or yung common factor ng dalawang yan ay x plus y. So, we are going to get x plus y ha, x plus y. Kasi nakagroup siya. Yan ang common nila. So, if we have there that 3a over x plus y divided by x plus y, Okay, minus a 4b, and then x plus y over x plus y. Okay, so we simply, ikakansel lang natin ito, yung common nila. So you will have here 3a minus 4b. Okay, so our answer here is x plus y, 3a minus 4b. Okay, madali lang to ha. Usually kasi kapag naka-parenthesis siya na binomial, siya yung common. So you just get it. O, katulad yan, x plus y siya. So kinuha natin siya. And then we divide. Kaya ang matitira, itong mga nasa labas nila, 3a and then minus 4b. Okay, now you have to try this ha, practice. Is you have to get your paper and solve this one and then e upload e comment sa ating comment section yung solution so that I can see and check it. Okay, let's spread the love of math. Please share this video, like this video, and comment on this video. Thank you. Bye.